I'm Justin Chan and I'm a third year undergraduate at Columbia University and I spend my summers here in the Acasaglu lab at the University of California, San Francisco, Gladstone Institutes of Neurological Disease. I mainly study how metabolism affects immunity in the brain. There's a growing consciousness of how our diets affect the way that our heart and lung and other digestive organs function, but a lot of people don't realize that the foods you eat can actually affect the processes in your brain. Uh, ever since high school, I've spent um, my summers in the lab, and my friends have always asked why I don't want to be doing something fun with my summers, but to me, this is something that really makes a lasting impact, and something that where I can improve the quality of life for so many people, many of them that I will never even meet, but just knowing that I made that difference. I'm really excited to be able to come into the lab and answer questions that nobody has the answer to, and to be able to learn alongside everyone else. I, I do um, a lot of, so I work everywhere in the lab, so I do a I do work on the microscope, um, taking images and analyzing, but also on the bench top. My hope is to be able to find therapeutics to neurodegenerative diseases, and specifically with metabolism, to be able to find therapeutics using perhaps even food as medicine would be a um, cost-effective and practical way to be able to treat a lot of patients with neurodegenerative diseases. It's never too early to start finding your passions. Um, if you go out and try new things and start learning what you like and what you don't like, what you're good at, and whether something that you like may not be something you're necessarily good at, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. yeah. The most filling part, at least in medical science, is knowing that the work that you do will be able to improve someone else's quality of life, that the course of their life will be significantly changed by the work that we do. Yeah, learning in the lab is just really different from classroom learning because there's no correct answer that you are supposed to get at the end of the day. And no matter what result you get, it's something that you have to investigate and find out why. You just have to never be afraid to ask people to give you a chance to learn, and you will be surprised at how often they will, they will give it to you if you're interested.